good, Charles? Yeah. Already wishing we left Sean hanging from that tree. Oh, I know what you mean. Hey, listen. Oh, it's your swath of this, hey. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Hey, you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Uncle Sean is back. Mr. McGuire, don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old clown. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Sean will make your life hell when he finds out you're an Odrisku. Oh, great. Just be grateful you're alive. Mind if I join you, fine folk? Okay, I'll catch you later then. You're looking as lovely as ever. If I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupido. So, what now? Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, I'd bet. Oh, let him Listen, have some fun. Listen, my friend. He's been through a lot. Do you know the Louisville lady? I thought lady? you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk with the rest of <laughs> You know this one, don't you? Go join in. Finally. Some good news. Well, well, what I do I say. Indeed. And she was Mr. Sanford's favorite. Oh, my love. I put my hand upon her toe. Mark, well, what I do say. She says, young man, you're rather low for the diddle 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 all the day. <laughs> I put my finger on her knee. Mark, well, what I do say. She says, young man, you're rather free for the diddle 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 all the day. I put my arm around her waist. Mark, well, what I do say. She says, young man, you're in grace for the diddle 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 all the day. I put my hand upon her thigh, Mark, well, what I do say. She says you're getting pretty high, do my diddle 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 all day. I put my hand upon her ass, Mark, well, what I do say. She says, let's lay down on the grass and diddle 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 all day. And we diddle diddle did, too. Again. You bet. You know what? But that taught me something. And, and, and it taught me something I will never forget. And that's that most fellas are sheep. That's right. And, and if you can tell the difference between a... The difference between a sheep and... A, a, a sheep and, and a man, then you... Well, you... That, you, that makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words. All of you, mark my words. Stupid army. Sheep. Mr. Morgan! <laughs> Morgan! Reverend? Hello! Hello! What do you want? I'm not... I'm not quite sure. 
This keeps happening. Sure, but I ain't much of a dancer. Stop thinking you're angry and sad. Uh, what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's <laughs> about all I can muster. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. You okay, Jose? Well done, Arthur. Oh, it wasn't just me. <gasps> anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Arthur. Well, he's back. As loud a mouth as ever. Ah, uh, you can talk. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sure, Morgan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kieran. Hey. How are you holding up? I'm all right, thanks for asking. Good to hear. Yep, all right, well, see ya. Suddenly you seem much better, Marston. Don't feel too sudden to me. Just when the drinks come out. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Uh-huh. What was I doing? Get up, Strauss. It's a party. What do you mean? I'm in an excellent mood. Oh, okay, sorry. I can never tell. Well, I should get back to it. Yes, yeah, sounds good, Arthur. <laughs> Welcome back, Sean. Did you miss him? You know, I think I actually did. Ha <laughs> ha, me too. Look after your boy tonight. He's not my boy. Hello, English. When I was just <laughs> glad you know, I met a gal from old Bordeaux. She had blonde hair and blue eyes, too. Let me ride on the ring dang do. And the ring dang do. Now, what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. That's, That's what, what you call, call a ring dang do. <laughs> Took me down to her cellar. Said that it was a mighty fine, fine fellow. Said me wine <laughs> whiskey too. Let, Let me ride on the ring dang do. The ring dang do. Now what is that? It's soft and round like, like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. That's what you call a ring dang do. <laughs> Her mom come in angrily said, Now you have lost your maiden head. Pack your bag and coat packs to make your living off a ring dang do. The ring dang do. Now what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and a split. Your fellow countryman returns. Apparently. Well, enjoy. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Uh-huh, yeah. Talk to you later. 
Whatever else happens, we did it. I know. There she is. Still got a smile on my face. <coughs> Classic Sean McGuire speech. Yes, he's definitely back. We needed a reason to celebrate. <laughs> All right, well, I should be getting on. Sure thing. <laughs> Come here. Come here, Tony. Let's dance like we're in a Parisian chorus. I'm fine. I'm feeling a little, you know. <laughs> I always wanted a boa. <laughs> a fancy boa I could dance with, but... A boy, I'd be a happy woman. I'd, I'd be a lady. I'd, I'd finally be a lady. <laughs> you make a great lady. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna be a little bit ill. <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> You awake yet? Sorry. <laughs> it's too tempting. stuck with it. Well, I should get back to it. Whatever you say. <laughs> I ever tell you boys about the time I was lost in the Congo and became a a living God for a few days? Seriously, it's a good one. And it's true, entirely true. Many, many years ago, I was selling camping supplies in East Africa. <laughs> uh, my Lord, it was wild. The massive boys, uh, them Congo Indians, <laughs> average nine feet tall, some even bigger. <laughs> now, we was riding down the river, you know, when suddenly our boat erupted into flames. Uh, the rest of the crew, they, they was eaten by hippopotamuses and rhinoceroses. I survived, you know. <laughs> I got taken to a, a village in the trees. Uh, they'd never seen a white man before, and as luck would have it, they... They had a witch doctor made a prophecy that a god would turn up floating on the river, white as a cloud. <laughs> so they made me a god. <laughs> and it was fun for a few weeks. Uh, well, then they tried to marry me off to the chief's daughter. Either that or uh, sacrifice me to another god. <laughs> When I said I'm not the marrying kind, they wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs. <laughs> I ran away. 
away and, well, I spent weeks in the jungle. <laughs> Gorging off giant cockroaches. Oh, God. True story. I promise you. Come on, man. <laughs> I hate you, know that. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> You're pretty good. You're a funny fella. But you're okay. You're not. Everyone thinks that you're Dutch's pet. His pet? <coughs> yep. Like a dog or a cat. You're his favorite. Favorite? People care about that? Sure. I mean, it's, oh, it's like some do. A few people. Who? I don't know. I don't know. Well, me. Or not me. Maybe me. I don't... Ah, shit. I don't know. I mean, like... Hey. Hey. Hello, Doug. It's like... Okay. Here. I love liquor. I love liquor. But liquor... Don't love me. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> pathetic. Genuinely pathetic. Come here, my sweet. Oh, my oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't much of a party for your return, Marston. So let's celebrate now. Ha! Already stealing Sean's moment. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, all right. You having fun? Always. You know me. Sure. Trampled and trampled this wide world around. Break hell with the gang. That's where I am bound. It's with these gunslingers, they're Molly on Rome. I'm a rabble rouser, and Dixie's my home. If the ocean were whiskey, and I were a duck, quack, quack, I'd dive to the bottom and get one, one sweet the ocean ain't whiskey and I ain't no duck, so I'll play Jack of Diamonds and then we'll get drunk 
Oh, baby, oh, baby, I've told you before. Do make me a pallet. I'll lie on the floor. <laughs> Okay. Hello. How are you doing? Hell, I'm doing real good. Was it a long ride back with them? You have no idea. I can imagine. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sounds good. Ain't taking you long to settle back in. I'm back. I am back. <laughs> you crazy Irish bastard. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Whatever you say, Morgan. Oh, love is the soul of a neat Irish man. Love for that lovely little strawberry jam. Sweet lady in shamrock or green. Art is good humor. He's honest and sound. No matter if. Who did you call a goddamn? Well, I'll be cooked myself if I don't move. You okay, Tilly? Arthur. Hi, Karen. Oh, John was looking for you, Arthur. He's over by the tree behind the campfire. He was? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Okay. I've got enough steel in my collection box again, Reverend. Steel? Steel in me? You. No. I was putting money in. How dare you, man? What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. They were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood. But I think my people, 
Well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Yeah. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Come on, boy. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. It looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. <laughs> <laughs> this
This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Look, more dead bison. It has to be that. Come on, wait up. shoot those bison what's your problem i said did you fools shoot those bison calm down you black or red bastard whatever the fuck you are did you shoot them yes we did we shot them bison we'll shoot you too if you don't get what business is it of yours what we <gasps> it's that business of mine good god you're crazy i got a family a family don't shoot me Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please don't. Kill me. I'm begging you. I've heard enough. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
master. This way. Come on. That's a nice new hat you got, Arthur. Hey. You heard from any O'Driscolls? No, of course not. I've been here with you a lot. If you do, you make sure you tell us, okay? All right, then. Jose, how are you? Hello, Arthur. Everything okay? Well, I'm still alive. Well, let's keep it that way. Uh, okay. What a delightful surprise. Hello, Karen. Hello, Miss Grimshaw. How was your meal? Fine. I'm so glad. You know, while we were stuck up that mountain, I thought long and hard about if we'd have to eat you. Very amusing. I suggested we roasted you alive, but Mr. Pearson was keener on chopping you up and turning you into stew. He said he couldn't bear to see your face for even one moment longer than he had to. Hey, Arthur, what you want? Man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> So, you had fun partying with Sean again? Well, not as much fun as Karen did. <laughs> I don't think she thought that when she sobered up. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, then. This is Ed. You gonna sit down instead of pacing about the place? How are you holding up? It's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. It will get better, Mrs. Adler. Okay, then. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Swanson. At least you're reading it the right way up for once. Very funny. Well, don't let me disturb you. Oh, uh, yes. Hey, Tilly. Hey, you recover from Sean's party? Yeah, don't know if he has. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Happy to have Sean back. Yep, he'll never be quiet around here again. 
Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sounds good. Everyone's favorite uncle. Hey! I tell you something? Always. Evening, Mr. Morgan. I'm Could really use today. some good meat for this stew. Real frightened. Of what? Pinkertons, bounty hunters. Well done, Mr. Morgan. All feels... Good job, Mr. Morgan. Well, we've been Morgan. in a bad situation. Bad situation. I'm a mother. I know, my dear. Well, what are we gonna do? Is Dutch... I, I mean, he's always found a way, but lately I... I know, dear. Seems we don't have a choice but to ride this train to the end of the line. If I were you, think of the boy and make plans. Arthur, stop being strange and tell her to make plans. Listen to Jose, Abigail. I just wish John was... I care about him. Hey. Damn fool that he is. I know, dear. Stay calm. Jack needs you calm. Sorry, you all right? Not you again. Hi there. Good evening. Evening, Arthur. You okay? I'm bored. Well, go find some mischief to get up to. Let me know if you find candy. Mr. Pearson. 
Hey there. Need any supplies? Always. You can never have too much. All right. Let's see what I can do. Yes, yes. Ladies. Hey. Hey there. Good evening to you, Mrs. Adler. How are you? All right, I guess. Good to hear. Sure. <laughs> 